they're all inspired by us. Yeah. Look at the nails, look at the hair, look at the outfits. Even the oh, bodies. Period. Even mm. the surgeries. They're, they want to be femme queens now. Do you speak the language? Do you understand <laughs> the language? In okay. the name of the icon. You don't know me? Oh my god. My name is Angel. Part of the house Ninja and Meraki. Been in ballroom since 2019. What's the word? I don't want to say I'm famous because I'm not famous yet. <laughs> Come to ballroom, honey. <laughs> my name is Naima Yansa. I am the mother of the House of L, Dutch chapter. My name is Kenya. I'm from Stockholm and I'm a 007 in the major scene. And in the Kiki scene, I am a bodega. I learned from ballroom that there is not just one way of looking like a man or a woman or a human being. Ballroom has taught me to be unapologetically myself because she is a bad bitch. She should not live in fear of what others think. Well, I always knew about ballroom, but then I was like convinced that it wasn't a thing in Stockholm. I did this music video and Dumba was there. She was voguing in the video. And then I was like, is this a thing? And then he was like, yeah, actually this girl, Inksy, she's having a ball. And then I went to the ball the week after and walked and got my two grand prizes the first time. My brother went to New York studying dance. And he came back and brought it back to me and my best friends and we're obsessed with it since 2008. A mother basically is like the foundation of the house. She's the one that sets the kids in line, make sure that they're doing their job on and off the floor. Just, you know, someone that they can relate to that's been through the struggles. I am the type of mother, I like to be a cool mom. <laughs> No, but for real. I want them to be like my best friend. They can tell me anything. Most of the times these kids are looking for someone to look up to, someone that's gonna push them to do better. Most of the time they're just lost and think that something's wrong with them when it's the society that has a problem. Sorry, my mom just texted me. <laughs> I mean, bitches be creative in ballroom, no shade. It's like, I feel like being in ballroom has made me look at things differently, like music, dance, fashion. Now I feel like it's opened my mind to like more things that I can do in life. Like without ballroom, I definitely don't think I would dance. It has affected my style in the sense that I wear what makes me feel comfortable that day, how I want to move around the world, what persona, what character I want to tell. Growing up feeling that it was taboo for someone born in a cis male body to present femme was, was limiting. So now doing it as a form of freedom and expression is liberating. Showing up as yourself, not as who others perceive you to be. It's a very pretty way of saying fuck you to the people who said no. But you know, barroom is a competition mm -hmm. and sometimes you get a lot of chops, a lot of no's, a lot of this. Because I used to be the type of person that I would like go in the corner and cry if you tell me something or look at me some kind of way, you know? So I would say it toughened me up in that aspect for life. To don't think that just because this didn't work out, it's not gonna work out. Just keep fighting for it, keep training it, whatever you're doing, and you'll be fine. Do your history! <laughs> So it started off with the balls. They used to have drag balls, right? Because back then everybody was a drag queen. Even if you was a trans woman, you was a drag queen, right? Then obviously the girls was racist even back then. Very much. And they didn't want to give it to the black girls. So then the black girls went to start their own thing. And who, who was, was it? it? Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. La Beja, honey. Yes. yes. History of ballroom never dies. There's always someone you're gonna see on the floor that's gonna remind you from the old school generation. And that's like our main focus, is not to let the old school generation be forgotten. The love. Even though the barroom scene is hard to find love sometimes, it's such a dog-eat-dog -dog world. But when you choose your chosen family, this is what you should leave with. It's the love. I feel like the reason why I love ballroom is the freedom, however shady and political it might be, it's honest and genuine freedom being on the runway and being a spectator. The feeling that, you know, when you hear the 
and you just oh yeah i'm about to uh uh that feeling i don't know how to explain it but to me i feel like it's a drug